everyone, my name's Tash from Heart and Design. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today um, is actually a watercolour painting of a sailing boat. This image is a, another video that I've shown you how to draw. Um, they come as step-by-step -step tutorial sheets that are available to download on my Patreon, or you can go to my website's link below. Um, you will have extra videos on Patreon as well and every month I bring out a new set for you so this month was summer September was summer and next month October is fairies so um, lots of fun there now we're going to do this watercolor coloring today because what I do with all of the drawing sheets that I um, set up for you is I show you how to color and paint that image to, to have another experience using the same thing because um, there's so much you can do with art. So we're going to do watercolour today. Um, we'll start with popping in a bit of blue. Now I have watercolour pans. Obviously you can get tubes, you can get watercolour pencils. But I like to have pans. That's my artful set and then I've got um, another set. I'm not even sure what that is. You don't have to have, if you're just starting out, you don't worry about buying all the expensive ones. Honestly, it's not necessary. I mean, I've been doing art for quite a while now and I have bought, got a bit of a collection of, um, I kind of like that colour, but it's not really a, I suppose it could be a sea colour. It was sea green. I don't know how I made that. I think I got a bit of green in the blue. <laughs> See, lovely accidents in art we get sometimes. So I'm just mixing up a nice watery mix of a colour that I want to use for the sea. So I'm going in and I'm going to do the background first very carefully. I am not doing wet on wet for this, I'm wet on dry. And what I want to do is kind of leave a little space around the edges um, to give it that feel of like a, a postcard image or something. Now if it does build up in places it's fine, just spread it out. Watercolour has a way of doing what watercolour wants. <laughs> which is the joy of it really, it just goes wherever it wants to go. I kind of like that bluey green, that's nice. Happy accidents, okay. There we go. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe um, and hit that notification bell to get um, information on any new videos that are coming out. I um, think that's it for the C for now. So now we've got to go and do the sky. Now for the sky, I am literally just going to use a sky blue. I'm just picking up the colour from the pan with lots of water. And I'm literally just going to use that colour because it is a perfect sky blue. And it's nice because it's a slight difference from the sea. We don't want them to be the same blue. And I'm just coming in straight strokes. I'm going to go up to the top a bit, but I'm going to do like like I said, I'm going to make the edge of the painting kind of just messy and loose. I don't want to worry too much about that. Um, you can put the water down first on your paper and it's called wet on wet. And then you just watch the paint go wherever it wants. But I'm trying to be a bit more directed with this. There we go. It is actually coming out almost as a similar colour, but they're really not. They're really not. That one's a bit greener. But I am going to go back in anyway with that and create some more definition. So that's fine. I'm just going to pick up some of this because it seems to be a bit heavier in colour there. Now I need to go in between here as well because... Um, that's where the sails are bending and you can see the sky in between. We don't want that to be empty, otherwise it wouldn't look right. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to pick up some of the bluey green colour. Shall I bring that over a bit? Pick up some of that, just so you can see. And then I'm just going to bring in some more kind of wavy motions. And then that will help to bring some definition and colour and form into the sea so it doesn't just look like a plain big blob of colour. Okay, going in there. Right. 
it's a bit too deep in colour. I don't want to have that much. There, like that. Okay, now we are going to go in and do the sun. Now I don't really want it to mix with the background, so I'm going to give that a quick dry. Excuse the noise for a second. I don't need to worry about drying the whole thing as long as it's dry around where the sun is. So now I'm going to just add colour. That's it, just colour to the sun. And this is going to be wet on wet. Just because I want to see what happens when I add the yellow to it. Let's add... That should be white. I don't know why that's there. I've mixed in yellow with my white and it just... The white has become another shade of yellow. Anyway, anyway, let's pick up some yellow. I'm not even going to worry about mixing it in my pan. I'm just going to pop it down and see what happens. So there's already water down there, so I'm just letting it drizzle in to where the water is and find its way. And I'm going to be honest, that is too much. So I don't think I've got any paper towel with me. I'll just use my rag. Always have an old art rag around. There we are, that's better. Uh, it's nice to have some um, form, some different shades in there. So that's the sunshine. And what you can do is just add some little bits of yellow to that area of sky to just show that it is radiating out. Okay. Just smudge that around. I like that. Okay. So all these things, I'm just playing. I haven't practiced this or anything. It's just me and my art materials having some fun time. So the boat, I mean, we could keep it white. Um, but I think I want to go for like a royal blue colour, actually. But I'm going to make sure I mix it in with some water because I want to, uh, don't want it to be too, too bright because the rest of the painting isn't that bright. It's going to mix in a little bit of white. That maybe be a bit too pale now. Too much white. Let's pick up some more of that blue. There. That's nice. That's a nice colour. Right, so we're going to have a go. Now, the boat is obviously, it's got a line on it there. So it's two colours. So I'm going to go for blue on the bottom half. And maybe like a red colour on the top. Let's try that. Nicely watered down red. Might look a bit too pink. Go for that. No, it's still looking very pink. Now I've got some paper here that I try things out on yet. I don't want that. Let's add a little bit of brown to it just to darken it. It's looking a bit better. Okay. A touch of white just to see what happens. Mm, we're getting there. Okay, so I'm going to come in. Yeah, that's nice. With this ready colour. Now I have put it in when the blue wasn't quite ready, so it has smudged a bit, but it's okay. We're just playing. We're just playing today. Just for fun. See what happens. Okay. So we've got the general shape of the boat in there. Now we're going to go to the sails. And I actually feel like I do want the sails to be quite white. But nothing in life is ever really white. So I'm going to just make like a really watery grey in the middle there. Really watery. And even add some white in there picked up some yellow but actually that might be quite nice can you see that there's a it's like a yellowy gray color i'm just going to water it down some more and i think i'm just going to put that down on the sails first because nothing really in life is completely white so there we've given it a bit of color i'm going to go again down this side nice it just gives it a bit of depth and a bit of 
reality. That's the bottom. And then we can come down the middle with it as well. We can go over this, you see, afterwards. If we just put that base layer down where there is some kind of shade, we can then go over the top. After. Now, in the windows, people often think that the shade it's going to be black but I'm actually going to do a slightly darkened down version so I'm just going to add some green in there a slightly darkened down version of the sea like a dark darker green oh no that's not the right color look Ooh, not the right color at all um let's go for green with some of that blue yeah that's nice right so i'm just gonna put oh let's dry it first otherwise it will smudge a lot so i'm gonna dry the whole thing As you can see, the paper's starting to warp a little bit. Um, that's just because of the water and then being dried. I'm just dropping in like a dark green into the windows. I like that. Okay. Now, the sails themselves. Let's introduce some more of the red and the blue, maybe. Just to give a bit of pattern and bring out the colour in the boat onto the sails as well. And of course, you can pick your own colours. You don't have to follow me. To play around with your paints and, and, and see what colours you can mix and make up. There are an endless amount and you will never know them all. It's just about getting close to what you want and mixing in to see how to get there. And eventually your brain just starts to think, oh, I need a red in, I need a brown in that, I need a green in that. Yeah, that's coming together nicely. So the blue, I think, will also pop a bit of that in. Nice, doesn't matter that they're mixing in there too much now, that's fine. And a little bit there. You know, it's watercolour, it's meant to be like that. And the more it does that and bleeds into each other, just think the more fun it is. Right, so I'm going to come in now with some more of this darker colour into the sea, just to create more of a feeling of waves and it will leave behind the traces of where the brush has been and, and it, as you can see it just gives it a bit more of a feeling of sea. Now I'm putting a bit darker in the background because that will separate the sea from the sky more and it does appear to be darker as it gets further away anyway. Okay, so it's coming together nice. I'm now going to go in with a smaller brush so that was what I was using to do the first lot of just filling everything in. Now I'm going to go, I think I'll go a bit smaller than that even. We'll go for that one. Okay, so these are watercolour brushes. Um, I've got a lot of mine from Artful because I had, their, um, I had their parcels for a while and I really enjoyed getting them. Right. Let's go in here. And we'll put some waves in in a bit more detail. Just dropping in some more colour. Just to be a bit more definition. I think what I'll do is also come in with some of that red. And... I don't want it to be too watery with this, this is why I'm using a smaller brush. Oops. Um, I'm just going to spread that round a bit. It was a bit strong there then. I don't know if you saw as I put it down, it was a bit too strong. 
still don't like it it's too strong so we're just going to go in and dab it up with my there we go that's better with my trusty old rag and we'll dry that and then we'll come and do the blue at the bottom get some more blue in there just going to move it to the side a bit to help me okay that helps clear away that smudge that we had and puts a little bit more definition onto there we are onto the sail same here i'm just using mostly paint pigment hardly any water now just to bring in a little bit of definition and movement to everything now this is bright color that's okay i like that because we're just bringing in that detail now so i'm just going to water the edge out so it blends in a bit more that's fine and then don't want too much water on there and then I'm going to come in on this end and do the same just kind of defining the shape of the boat with that there's not too much water there's more pigment so I have a bit more control over it and then what I'm going to do is just pull that across so that it doesn't look too harsh of a line I'm going to do the same with bottom of the boat and it's going to be darker down the bottom because it's nearer the sea so that gives that a bit more detail I'm trying to be careful not to mix it too close to the red because i haven't dried it just make sure you let each layer dry in between it does make life a lot easier okay so i've just wet my brush and I've dried it again i'm going back into that kind of gray color and just want to bring that up because it gives it even mixing in a little bit of that blue it just gives the some realism to the white which isn't white now i need to do the mast i think i quite like the mast just as it is i might just pop a bit of gray in there just gray paint there's not too much water so that i can just make the mast really stick out and i'm going to do the same as i come underneath the top part of the boat sorry if i'm talking quietly when i get concentrated my voice gets quiet and i am on to about i think it's tutorial five of today so get tired okay how does that look i think we're okay it's a bit dry i'm just gonna come in because i made that error there of mixing in with the blue i just want to mix that along a bit more there we go and I think also with this grey, I just want to push it along a bit if I can. Because you can always go in and reactivate the watercolour if you want to just move it around a little bit. That's better. I think what I might do, a bit more grey and just make the top really clear where the top is. That's good. Okay, so I would say I'm pretty much finished, but you can keep going. Like, I'm just going to get some orange on my brush and I think, there, we can add in. <clears throat> and colors as we go along there's so much you can do i just recommend just playing around don't worry about ruining it i mean it's it's you can't ruin it it's just a fun piece of art you're probably not going to frame it and hang it up you might do you never know but it's just something for you to have fun with and play with I need some more blue in the water, I think. A bit more blue. Well, I kind of like that colour. It's like an aqua blue. So I'm just going to water that in along. That's nice. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because you can play too much and then you ruin the whole thing. So 
I'll leave it there for you guys. Um, again, please subscribe and like and follow, possibly comment, show me your work. Don't forget you can get all of my videos on Patreon for a monthly subscription along with all of the downloadable step-by-step -step drawing sheets. And um, there are other videos on YouTube showing you some of those sheets, but not all of them. It's just so that you have an idea what they're like before you commit to a subscription. You can also find my latest book with all of the summer sheets in an actual book if you prefer to buy a book that's available on Amazon the links below um, I think that's it <laughs> thanks everybody and thanks for coming along I hope you enjoy that and I love to see what yours turns out like all I can say is have fun with it yeah have fun enjoy it don't stress too much especially with watercolors because it goes everywhere <laughs> take care everyone have a good day